Here is Arduino control part feeder mechanism. I use ping pong ball to represent the parts and uh, ping pong balls are uh, put inside this tube uh, so that I can uh, feed system anytime if there is not enough ball. System consists of uh, another 3D printed part which holds two servo motor. As you can see, this is top servo motor and there's another one at the back, which is back servo motor. Whenever this is opening, ball will, will be dropping and this guy is holding uh, balls in place so that all of them not uh, fall at the same time. This uh, 3D uh, part, this one, consists of three parts. Uh, here, in this cap, I have a light sensitive resistor. As you can see, it's wires coming out from holes at the back, and this there's small ears uh, attached to that one so that you can wind your wire around it. And another one here holding LED inside to generate electricity, uh, I'm sorry, to generate light uh, and to feed that light to uh, sensor. It's also the same time uh, connected to the system like that. Uh, we can uh, connect these wires to or Arduino board. And balls enter here, tube uh, stuck in this uh, extruded part so that it doesn't go all the way down. And bottom uh, servo is connected to the system from these holes and top one is connected from there. Initially, I used white color for the sensor, but then I realized that it might not be a good choice because uh, it may reduce the sensitivity of uh, light detecting the resistor, so I switched to black color. <coughs> As you see in this case, the uh, ball are dropping every other 11 uh, or 12 seconds interval uh, but it can be changed by using a potentiometer as you can see on the circuit here I have a potentiometer uh, it is in the high setting but when I uh, make it a uh, change then the ball will be dropping in a faster pace let me fill first with ball uh, and let's watch will happen now they will drop by much faster speed slower so drop will be less for the print. That's all. Thank you for watching.